everything. Oh, sorry, later. your new consultant. What have we got? Uh, this is Jodie Ware. Um, she's 22. Uh, she and her brother have taken illegal substance, which uh, appears to have had an adverse effect on Jodie. The temperature's 40, BP 130 over 90, pulses 100, rest 30, and sat 95%. All right, let's have bloods, LFTs and E's, FBC, glucose, paracetamol, and salicylate. Let's have your analysis as well, please. Do we know what they've taken? It's just meant to keep you awake. Okay, it wasn't working for your sister. Who is she? I have no idea. Intuition tells me this isn't Zoe's appointment. Uh, it was just for the exams. Your exams are so important you'd just taken something you know nothing about. I've just remembered. Um, she's got the receipt. It's, um, it's called cyclonoid. Cyclonoid? I know someone who's taken that. You? No, never. But I can find out more about it. Check talk space. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, so it's developed arrhythmia and it's sinus tachycardic. Let's have oxygen on 12 lead ECG, please. Is she all right? For now. Next time, I suggest you work harder. PP? 90 over 60. Both? I too. Right, she's stabilizing. Tess Bateman. Connie. I know, it's like I've never been away. This is Dr. Ashford, one of our consultants. Of course, yes. It's good to put a face to the name. When I finished here, a guided tour would be nice. Of course. Thank you. All right, how are you feeling? Any pain? Well, OK. Let's give her five of morphine, please. So this is the Connie Beecham. The same. Zoe didn't say anything. She rang earlier to say she'd been delayed. So maybe she doesn't know. That's not good. It sounds like the coup's already happened. I think it's just started. Oh, wait, this is all I know. Try and stay calm. Oh. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Anything? Yeah, um, you can buy it off a New Zealand website. It's about 20 quid a gram, and it's a stimulant similar to amphetamine. Excellent. Well, anything like an amphetamine would have increased the heart rate, and if there was an underlying problem, it could have been triggered by the drug. Very good. Leave the cardiologist to do the rest. So, do you know her, then? Oh, yes. Unfortunately, not intimately. Where from? Uni. She won't remember me, though. I was just a student. Well, she's got a lot going for her. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> Are we happy to have her transferred? I'm happy, yes. Robin, could you transfer to CCU, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, look, if, um, if Jodie asks where I've gone, just tell her I've gone to try and appease Odin. Odin? My dad. It's Caleb, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's cow, actually. Cow? That's yeah, just what I prefer. Oh, right, cow. You studied at UCL, hmm? Yes, I did. I uh, used to give an annual lecture there. I seem to remember you asking me why I settled on cardiothoracics. And I remember you replied, why would you settle for brown ale when champagne's on offer? Well, yes, it was a little pretentious, but uh, I think I got my point across. Really nice to have you in the department, Connie. Mrs. Beecham, could you show me to my office now? 
Please help me. Please help Try and me. stay still for me, yeah? Hey, Zoe. You okay? Don't ask. Can you see to the girl? I haven't had a chance to look at her yet. After my job, Doc. Very funny. Uh, all right, Max. I'll be in the back, mate. Hey, sweetheart. I'm Jeff. I'm a paramedic. Can you tell me your name and where it hurts? Millie. It's my chest and shoulder. OK, Millie. All right. I'm just going to have a little look at you, OK? Maybe give you something for the pain. OK, Jeff. This is Sasha over here. He's got a deep laceration <laughs> to his thigh and he's got a fractured left ankle. I'm trying to stem the bleed over here. And don't worry about me. Can you just make sure she's OK, please? Don't worry. She's in safe hands. Uh, can you like him, then? We'll get a collar on her, Mac. Right. OK, I'll take the head. Mm -hmm. Can you throw me a tourniquet and some gloves, please, Mac? All right, sweetheart. You're doing really well. Here we are, lovely. There's your phone. OK, found it in the back. I'll just pop it in there. <laughs> All right, Angel. Let me do that. Let me take a look at your face. What would you like me to do with these? <sighs> Dr Ashford, there's an RTC inbound. Right. Uh, find Lily, and can you guys make sure the walking wounded keep moving? Mrs Beecham. Ethan Hardy, I've just met your brother. Oh, it's a privilege to be working with you. Someone's been doing their homework. Surprise you don't know the names of the receptionists. Today they are Louise Tyler and Noel Garcia. We normally pick them up in recess. Yes, I'd like to see the process from start to finish. Oh, so I wasn't seeing things. No, she's back. And do we know what she's doing here? A little undercover work, maybe. All right, I'll take this patient. You take the daughter. Any more casualties? All right, look what I'm aware of. Uh, Tom, you want to uh... Yes, yes, I am. Good. I thought I was in some weird kind of time walk for a minute. Uh, Max, come on, mate, on your feet, patients. Dr. Hannah, Dr. Ashford has asked me to concentrate on the walking wounded. OK. Is there anything you need before I continue? Yeah, just a change of clothes and something for my headache. Sorry, he was driving, hit a stationary vehicle. It wasn't KO, GCS has been 15 throughout. Query fractured left ankle, he has a deep laceration to his thigh above the right knee, extensive bruising to the sternum and abdomen, bit of a bang on the head. Uh, BP's 110 systolic, pulse 90, sats with 95%. He's had tenomorphin so far on 750 of saline. Okay. OK. All right. Thank you. OK. Right, Sasha, I'm just going to see where the damage is. How's the pain? Still there. Uh... Airway's clear. Let's give five of morphine. Right, we'll get your shoulder x-rayed and see what's going on. Cubicles, please, Rita. Okay. You've got a minute. As long as it's on the move. Uh, who does this belong to? The new consultant? What new consultant? I mean, you don't know. No, I thought we were meant to be drawing up a shortlist this week. Well, I think that shortlist's already been drawn up, and I think there's only one name on it. Uh, Charlie, I need your help here. In a minute. I've got Jodie Ware's father on the phone. Professor Ware, he says he's on the hospital board of trustees. Right. It's the third time he's wrong, and he's threatening to do all sorts. So what does he want? He wants to speak to the doctor who's treating his daughter. Well, Mrs Beecham's busy at the minute. Who? Mrs Beecham. Recess. Everyone. You okay? Oh, so we hammer. Yeah, I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh, I take it you weren't expecting me. No, I wasn't. Right, okay, well, blame guy self. I thought he'd uh, run it past you. No, he hasn't. Okay, sorry. I don't know what else to say. Well, there's plenty I can say. Nick Jordan having to share an office. Different times. She is a good doctor. Oh, what, Nick wasn't? No, that's not what I meant. Look, this is your department and we all know that. But having good backup can't be a bad thing. If that's what she's here for. I just don't get it. Why would a top cardiothoracic surgeon want to come down to an emergency department when we know there's no money or glory to be had in emergency medicine? OK. A bit odd, isn't it? Great. But it's the fact that he didn't... Have Kevin, are you still keen on getting experience with the trauma training? Yeah. The paramedic duty officer has just called me back. There's a minor accident oh, at some event. Jeff and Mac are outside, so if it's all right with them, you can go. Yes! Uh, guy self, please. Yeah, it's Connie. Oh, it's uh, Zoe. But we'll tell him I'm coming up to see him. And before you ask, yes, he does know what it's about. Go now. Oh, Tess. 
Professor Ware was wanting to speak to me. Do you have a number for him? Charlie was dealing with that. I'll go and ask him. Thank you. Going somewhere? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to gain drama experience, so the paramedic said I could go out and a shout with them. Oh, Zoe. Sorry, just wanted to know the uh, policy for doctors attending emergency cases in situ. Uh, it's not something that we make a habit of. Maybe in exceptional circumstances, but normally we leave the paramedics to it. Very good. I won't be long to stop to see myself. Come on, Olivia. I know you lied about his alibi. You weren't with him. So where was he? I'm Jeff. I'm a paramedic. Right, what have you done then? Well, it's my wrist mainly. I took a tumble from up there. All right, so look, this one, yeah. Not very traumatic. First aider here <laughs> said to keep it supported. Yeah, well, he obviously knows what he's talking about. I think he may have sprained that. You're gonna have to come into the ED, I think. What were you doing up the scaffold? She was after my husband. Well, been a bad boy, is he? Yeah, armed robbery. He's a bit of an escape artist, actually. He ran for a couple of miles last time before giving us the yeah, slip. Yeah, he's managed to give you the slip again. To keep me in the face to do it. Let me have a look. There's somebody up there. What are the riggers left? No, 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 look. Right! Can we get some light up there, please? Yeah. That'd be tricky. That's one for the fire service, I think. Can you give them a call, Matt, please? Yeah, we'll let them know what they're being for. Hey, he's not moving. There's something seriously wrong. Uh, uh, boss, boss, you can't do that. But she, she can't do that. No, I know. Uh, just hold the fort here, mate. One of us is going to have to, I suppose, aren't they? She's amazing. Yeah, but health and safety are going to have a hard attack. I'm sure she wouldn't mind. In fact, I think it would be a boost for the whole department. Guy? Yeah. Uh, any problems, get back to me. That was the press office. They want to run an article about Connie joining your department. Headline from valves to vagrants. What do you think? I thought we were both drawing up a short list of potential candidates. Yeah, all of a sudden it didn't seem necessary. Well, I should have a say. It is my department. She walked into my office the other day, just after you'd been harassing me for another consultant, and I thought, opportunity too good to miss. Didn't want to delay. She might go somewhere else, and I didn't want to lose her. But why was she in your office in the first place? Did she even know there was a job on offer? No. Total coincidence. Total. I don't get it. The last I heard, she was in Switzerland or somewhere, having money thrown out for research? Yeah, well, apparently she wants to get back on the front line. She's done all the necessary retraining as an ED consultant, and she said that Holby was where her heart was. I just don't get it. There's nothing to get, Zoe. Connie wanted in on emergency medicine, so why not our ED? She'll be great backup for you. Ugh, backup? Absolutely. Martin Ashford is good, but he's not Connie Beecham. Martin Ashford is a trained emergency physician, whereas Connie Beecham is just a surgeon. And one of the best surgeons this hospital has ever had. I don't care. You don't pass up working with the best Zoe. You need her. Make sure she's made welcome. I'm having dinner with her tonight. No doubt she'll tell me all about today. <laughs> I'm sure she will. Grant, can you hear me? Grant! Grant! And what I think this is? Suspension syndrome. Really? Mm. Okay. Well, we need to get him down sharpish then, don't we? <sighs> Give me the oxygen. Come on, are you serious? Yeah, come on. All right, well, you be careful. I don't need two casualties on my hands. Good. Okay. Thank 
give you a little oxygen. Just to help you breathe a little more easily, all right? Now, Jeff, given the position, I think we're right with the uh, suspension syndrome. Okay. We need to get him down now. Okay. All right. Hey! Come here, that crane over here, please! You all right? You okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just get that crane over here now, please. Over, all mate. Right. Help. Yeah. Oh, you all. Off a bit. Okay, lower him down, mate. Lower him down. Here we go. I got you, Pat. I got you. A bit more, a bit more. More. Come on. All right, more. make sure you keep him upright. A bit more, Mac. Okay. Yeah? I'll catch you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Connie, look at me. You're going to have to come up. Okay, you're going to have to take my arm and you're going to have to come up. Just grab my arm. Grab my arm. Oh, God, stretch. Oh, okay. Oh, stretch. Stretch. I've got you. I've got you. Come on, climb. Oh. Climb, climb, climb. Oh. Come on, mate. Oh, come on. No! Oh. Okay. We don't get that on the Sorry, come on. What's going to happen to me? Well, first, I'm going to try and make you well. The rest, I'm afraid, is not in my remit. Would you like me to monitor his blood sugar? Might have been best if you just left me. Don't you even think of it. You just focus on your wife and your baby. Olivia is. Has anyone seen Olivia? Don't worry, she's outside. Yeah, but I want to see her. We just need to sort you out first. Is this a patient with suspension syndrome? It wasn't for Robin. We'd have missed him. Kind word, please. You left the department after I told you not to. Sorry, you said you usually leave it to the paramedics. I didn't see that as direct order not to go. You have a duty of care to the patients here and now. Working in this department is very different from working the wards. Well, um... I thought it wise that I get acquainted with all aspects of the department, so, I mean, if you prefer, we can take it up with him. I really don't mind. Let's try and get over this lapse of judgment on your part. Put it down to an experience. I'll know to ask next time. And unless it's exceptional circumstances, I can tell you now the answer will be no. Mm hmm Pulse, please. It was 180 over 160, down to 100 now. So what's the diagnosis? This was an acute episode of SVT, which settled spontaneously. Let's have some adenosine on standby, just in case we have another run of it. The patient said this was the first time it happened, but I think we may find that's not the case. Robin, see if you can dig out any history. Yeah, sure. <sighs> All right, Grant, this may make you feel a little odd, but it just means the medication's working. Grant, Dolly. Olivia, tell Mrs. Beach what you just told me. Uh, he he collapsed once. He was playing football, but he never talks about it. He says it makes him look weak. There's a conductive abnormality in the trace. Yeah. Well, extreme exertion can bring on a rhythm. Is he going to be all right? I'm hoping so. Right, I think there's an underlying problem, maybe valve disease. How are you feeling, Grant? Yeah. Darling, look, I don't know what to do. The policewoman is saying that she's going to arrest me for lying. And if she does that, they're going to take our baby away. No one's taking your baby away. Well, we can't be sure of that. You're not telling the truth. I think you should listen to him. Well, well we can't risk him taking the baby away. It's fine. I'll, I'll do the time. I'll do it. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Right. I'll arrange to get you sent up to CCU. Everything's going to be all right, OK? Now, the police think you ran, well, a couple of miles. Now, I know someone in your condition couldn't possibly have done that. So where were you? Okay, come on, Pat. I'll take him up to CCU. Is he going to be all right? Well, it's... 
too soon to tell, but I'm very hopeful. If you hadn't lied about his alibi, this never would have happened. Well, I can see why she did. Well, given his condition, any strenuous activity could have brought on an episode, like running a couple of miles. I think you would have found that virtually impossible. But we have him on CCTV. You have someone on CCTV. I doubt very much it's Grant Tindall not running that kind of distance. And let me guess, the CCTV footage wasn't crystal clear? Now, with knowledge of his newfound condition, if I was a defence barrister, I'd fancy my odds. You know, maybe you got it wrong. Hey, Let it go. Maybe. Thank you. Look, I shouldn't say this, but Grant didn't want to say anything because he was trying to buy something for the baby. He just didn't want to jinx it. Uh, sorry, so. Mrs. Beecher. Um, Zoe and Professor Weir would like to speak to you. OK. Good luck. Think Jodie Weir's fine. Peter, it's been a while. My daughter's been admitted. I want to find out what treatments she received when she first arrived and why there was such a delay in her diagnosis I tried to get through on the phone. Professor Ware would like to make a formal complaint. Your son and daughter took a substance that we were unfamiliar with. I have a receipt here for cyclonide. You're an emergency doctor. Isn't it your job to know these things? I would have thought you would know what you're purchasing for your children, Peter. That is your name on the credit card information, isn't it? Gave me a... I told you about the exam aids, and you said I should buy some for Jamie. I meant legal aids. But they are legal. Do you see the problem? Yes. Of course. <clears throat> well, if it eases your daughter, should make a full recovery. Nice to see you again, Peter. <sighs> That's shut him up. Yeah. I've had a message about you from our new consultant. She wanted me to know how impressed she's been with you today. Really? I believe we're edging closer to that advanced trauma nursing course. Ah, oh, fab! If you need any help with it, she can always ask me anytime. Okay, thanks. Hematology. Yeah, I can wait. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Bye bye. 